Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, and freaks of nature of all ages. My name is Brian Bad Hippie Jackson, and welcome to my YouTube. And welcome to Bad Hippie's Book of Stupid. Yes, it's Friday, so it's time for another installment of Bad Hippie's Book of Stupid. And today, I am going to tell you an army story. Now before I do, let me just say right off the bat that there are certain stories from the army that I will never ever tell anybody. Um, and I'm not even going to explain why. I'm just going to say I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to tell you the story about when I was stationed in South Korea. I was stationed in Camp Casey in South Korea. And that's just outside of this little town called Tongduchan. Well, Tongduchan's probably not little anymore. I looked it up on Google Maps a couple of weeks ago, and it's fucking grown. But Camp Casey's still there. Tongduchan's still there. Nobody's nuked it yet. Um, and we would get passes after after work we got off duty we would get a, a just a basic off post pass which meant we could go out and we could party and we could have fun but we had to be back on post by midnight so i had a basic pass one night and i used to hang out in this little bar in tongdu chong called the stars club they played really good rock and roll heavy metal i was all into that um and every now and then you'd see a katusa in there now katusa a katusa was a Korean regular army soldier who was assigned to you to a United States Army unit. It was Katusa stood for Korean Augmentation to the United States Army. So it was a Korean regular soldier assigned to an American unit. So I was in the Stars Club one night and I was pissed drunk. Me and my buddies were all pissed drunk. Because what we used to do. I mean you get off duty, there's really not a whole hell of, I can't talk, not a whole hell of a lot more to do than get drunk and, you know, other weird, disgusting things, and we used to do those. Um, so I'm just tore up, stumbling drunk. And this night was the night that the first time I ever ran in to a 100% true, real martial artist. And yes, he knew Taekwondo. He was a little bit short Korean guy. He was a Katusa. And um, so I, I'm stumbling to the bar. And I'll explain why he was a true martial artist here in a minute. I'm stumbling to the bar. I had just stumbled and staggered my way to the bar and got myself a refill on my beer, my OB. It was a Korean-made beer. It was like 100 won, which in American money was a quarter, maybe. So the beer was cheap. We used to call it Oriental Budweiser, OB, Oriental Budweiser. And uh, so I just got a refill on my beer, and I'm staggering back towards my table where my buddies are waiting on me, and I bumped into this Katusa, and I spilled my beer. Now, I'm pissed drunk. I'm pissed drunk. Burr. I'm more drunk than the night that me and Randy ran into Officer Tom drunk. So, of course, when I spill my beer... Even though it was my fault, it wasn't my fault. It was his fault. And I was feeling froggy. So I start, I start in on him. Now, he didn't want nothing to do with it. He tried to do the right thing. He really did. He apologized for spilling my beer, even though it wasn't his fault. He tried to bow, bow out of it. He even offered to buy me a new beer. But I was too drunk, and I was feeling froggy, and I wasn't having no part of it. And I popped off. I don't even know if I can remember how to pronounce it correctly anymore. But I popped off with something along the lines of Himishimi Pekpojida, which, to my understanding, roughly translated means your mother has a ball pussy. That was the wrong thing to say. That was just absolutely the wrong thing to say. I don't know if you've ever had a size 7 combat boot make firm contact with the side of your face or not, but it don't feel good. Trust me about that one. So I said that, and I'm squared off, and I literally, upside the face, bip, 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 he bitch slapped me with his foot. This guy could not have been any more than 5'5", five, five, tops. 5'5", five, five, tops. I'm six foot even, and I'm wearing combat boots that put another inch on me. I wasn't in uniform, but I was wearing the boots. And he brought that foot up. I didn't even see it coming. Before I knew what happened, pow, 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 I got bitch slapped with a foot. 
I hit the ground. Boom! I crumbled. Oh, my buddies all get up. They run over there. I'm like, get up, man. Kick his ass. Kick his ass. I'm like, fuck that. I am sober now. <laughs> and he didn't do anything. He just kind of backed off. Just kind of backed off, waiting to see what I do. And I drug my ass up off the ground. I got my both the both sides of my face are beat red. I knew they had to be. It felt beat red. I was like, oh my god. And I looked at him. And I didn't say a word. I just bowed. That's all I could think to do. I just bowed. And he kind of grinned, bowed back, turned around, walked out the door. I've never seen him again in my whole life. I've never seen him again. I don't, well, I don't know what his name was. I don't know what unit he was attached to. I don't know anything about him except that he kicked me three times in the face and I never even saw it coming. He dropped me like a sack of potatoes in a half a second flat. But later on, I came to the realization that he could have done a lot more than that. He didn't want to fight. He didn't want to hurt me. He just wanted to do what was necessary to get my attention and make me stop being an asshole. Because I was being an asshole. So he bitch slapped me in the face with his foot. And it worked. That was all it took. And I was done. But the, the realization came to me that he could have completely and totally annihilated me at any time he chose and there would have been nothing I could do about it. But he didn't. He didn't want to hurt me. He just wanted me to quit being a dick. And that is why I say he was a true martial artist. Because most people, boy, boy, once you put someone on the ground, it ain't done. You're on top of them. Boom, boom, boom. Maybe drop a couple of elbows into the side of the head. You make sure that they can't get back up and fight anymore. He didn't want to do that. He just wanted me to stop being a dick. And that is why he was a true martial artist. Taught me one of the greatest lessons of my life. You know, basically being never let your alligator mouth write a check your fucking canary ass can't cash. Never forgot that. And he also taught me what a true martial artist actually is. A true martial artist isn't somebody that goes out and whoops people's ass all the time. It isn't somebody that goes looking for fights to prove how fucking tough they are. A true martial artist is somebody who will try to find a peaceful resolution to the situation and will only use the amount of force necessary to bring an end to it. He could have tore me up. He could have buried me, literally. But he didn't. He just bitch slapped me in the face. And once he knew I wasn't going to fight again, he turned around and walked away. And that is the story about how I got bitch slapped in the head with a foot and learned a lesson about what a true martial artist really is. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please do not forget to check the links in the description below for the Disabled American Veterans and the Wounded Warriors Project. Let's please support our veterans. If you like the video, then hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends and family to hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Please do not forget to leave me a comment. They are always welcome, good, bad, or somewhere in between. Thank you very much for watching. I love doing this. I couldn't do it without you. I know that. I love and appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for your time, your support, your encouragement. And until next time, this is Brian Bad Hippie Jackson saying peace, love, clean underwear, and happy gaming.